They take me for idiot. <laughs> they take me for idiot. <laughs> We are live, live, live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With your bo -bo -bo boys, boys, J Money <laughs> and Fu 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 Fire Lord. Fu Wags. Let's fucking go. Ja 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 Inside. 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 Selector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What an introduction. Thank you for that, guys. We yeah, really man. appreciate you um, being here with us on this fine Monday afternoon slash morning. Yes, sir. Now, you already know what it is. We love to do the introductions for your boys today. We're feeling super grateful, yes. feeling super hot because it's warm. Yes, and I don't even know what else. We're just blessed. We're just blessed. We're blessed because you guys have blessed us. So thank you. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, every day of my life, I am blessed. So maybe linger straight. Nalinga for days with that song. Nalinga, you know. Nalinga. No linga, no linga, no linga. What? No linga. Nah, stop. You man, you man know about no linga, fam. My my foot bottom was slippy, bro. In the dance when I was linga, my tippy toes were slipping, boy. Bro, no linga. I've said it to you, bad on the pod before, time ago. Justin Timberlake had the white version of no in um in my love. Boom, boom. <laughs> it's sweet to me that I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's funny. That's the white Nalinga. Oh, wow. Hilarious. Bro, <laughs> Jamaicans are so lazy with their song names. Nalinga. Like, as in no lingering. That, <laughs> but, I just put two and two together. As in don't linger. Don't linger around here. <laughs> Come off the road. Come off the streets. <laughs> So this is, I think it's a sweeper motion. Yeah, Come off the street. Yeah. <laughs> no lingering here. Wow. No linger. No linger. No linger. No linger. No linger. And gully creep. Gully creep. Pondy river. Pondy bank. bank. <laughs> As in the bank of grass on the side of a riverbed. Nah, fam. Oh. Elephant oh, Man needs to do better. Fam, but he, he he knows a catchy tune yeah, when he, he finds does, one, bro. He does. He, they all do, to be fair. Oh, you know, Willie Bounce. Do the bounce, Willie Bounce. Everybody fear, do the Willie Bounce. <laughs> Willie Bounce. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't know where their heads were at when that when that title was brought to the table. Bro. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Willie Bounce. <laughs> anyway. Guys, uh, girls, you already know what to do. Obviously. I'm tired of saying it, but I'm going to say it one more time for the Facts. people in the back who Facts. refuse to listen. That's you, man. I'm going to hold my hand like a fucking politician. <laughs> you refuse to listen. So what we need you to do is pause the episode right now. Right fucking now. Scurry your little legs. Oh, no, I'm going to be really patronizing. Patronizing, Jay. That's what we... <laughs> That's the hat for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patronizing James is on. Right. Let me get into character. Cool. <clears throat> Guys girls here's what i need you to do okay pause the fucking video right fucking now take your stupid little legs those little miniature little nuggets yeah take your little fucking nuggets <laughs> head <Scurry> on over <laughs> yeah do you know what keyboard works <laughs> yeah yeah keyboard <laughs> yeah p -p -p patreon <laughs> patreon you have to spell it probably yeah. not <laughs> patreon.com Forward slash, that's the one that leans that this forward, yeah. not the one that <laughs> leans back. Backwards. Yeah. <laughs> not a fat joting, a regular joting. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You feel me? Lean forward, <laughs> the line that leans forward, shits and gigs. If you don't know how to spell it, look up. <laughs> Just <laughs> title of the video, look, look up. up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. It's going to cost you, guessed it, £3 a month, 10p a day. Run the P to S N G. Okay, Facts. that's the slogan. If you don't know it by now, shame Sh on you. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Shame on you. If you don't want more episodes, kindly 
fuck off. Because we're in it for the long haul, guys. Yeah, yeah, sir. We want the cult babies. Yes. Cult babies only on this channel. Facts. If you're not a cult baby, unsubscribe mm. and kindly piss off. <laughs> You don't know. We don't want no one hit wonders. Yeah, we need repetition. Yeah, we need the re re repetitive, <laughs> repetitive viewers and listeners. So if you're listeners. if you're in the cult, yeah. then get balls deep in the cult, yeah. cult and pay the three pounds yeah. and get unlimited content. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a Discord server coming soon, soon on there. Come. There's three years of episodes on there already. There. It's cheaper than chips. We've established Facts. it's literally cheaper than a portion of chips. Facts. Facts. An episode every single Thursday you get over there. Facts. So one more time for you idiots. In the you absolute month. fucking idiots. In the bleachers, Rosie. They can't even see us. <laughs> you don't even pay that money yet <laughs> to sit in the front fucking row. It's for you, man. Yeah. Patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Get involved or get out of my face, bro. Right now. Right now, because I'm living. Yeah, because I'm getting... Oh, I'm getting oh no, nah, no. Nah, you know what, actually? I'm getting, I'm actually getting fucking, fucking mad. I'm getting mad. Oh, I'm actually getting... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm actually getting mad. I'm actually getting mad. Pricks. Just do it. Just right now on a Nike tick ASAP. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, fucking subscribe, like, comment, chirps, chirps. the ting in the comments. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, make yeah, some yeah. breeding grounds. Yeah. Obviously, you chirps, you fucking meet her, yeah, you, ba yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah. bang her yeah, and... Yeah. Him and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know cult, what it is, babies, and then yeah, babies yeah. they get indoctrinated yeah, into the cult, yeah, yeah. and we Mormon educate thing, them yeah, of how yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. live their lives, and you yeah. know how it's the library, the school, yeah, everything. It's really it's, basic it's, cult yeah. tactics. Yeah, standard. Yeah, right. Right. Um. Yeah, like get we're it? trying to be Got false it? prophets, and cool. you're actually longing it out. Yeah. So subscribe to the channel and put the notification bell on because we just had a meeting earlier, like a board meeting, where we decided we're going to actually produce so much extra content for you guys. Not like you deserve it, but whatever. I lie. If you're listening, for some reason our Apple Co podcast fucking thing has gone up by like fucking Flying loads of percent over the, the last month and that's like without even trying so yeah thanks i guess i guess fuck it out yeah you're a joke you are a joke <laughs> fuck's sake you're a joke so leave a review if you want to leave a review if you listen on spotify apple podcast fucking amazon. audible amazon google, music whatever. google podcast whatever man i don't care just leave a five-star review or Piss off as well. Five or nothing. Literally. Five or nothing. Five or nothing. Joke team. <sighs> Waste. <laughs> and without any further ado, Fuad said he wants to rant about something. So let's listen to what he has to say, yeah? Right. Now that that's out the way. All right, cool. Sorry, guys. No, we actually do love you. <laughs> love, love, love. Now that okay, that's okay. out the way, James, like, I just want to compose myself because I want to art fully articulate Wait, pause. Sorry. Have you you've never done a rant on here before? I used to do rants all, all the, time. the time. I think I've maybe done one, but I don't really remember what the rant was about. Bet, I'm excited. Let's go. <clears throat> Talk I to just, me. I just want to art properly articulate how I feel about the situation. Go on. So we're by the time this episode drops, we'll be three weeks in, but we're two weeks in into the Premier League, and Man United are pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> Swear. Man United are pissing me off. I've heard, I've seen statements I, I don't know what's going on i know you don't i don't know, I know what's you, going I know on you don't so you're gonna have to bear with me all right bet because i was in manchester on saturday you were man city had a game yeah they obviously won yeah because i'm i, I saw smiles and blue that's <laughs> yeah. all i saw blue and smiles i was at home yeah <laughs> with frowns and red <laughs> frowns and red james all right so while going what's going on <sighs> they're pissing me off i got mandem in my fucking dms Slating me on a weekly basis. I swear. Talk to me, fam. What's going on? So, pre season, right? So, I'm going to give you a full backstory. All right, bet. I say full. Last couple of months backstory. So, we changed the whole system because we had, when Oligona Solskjaer got sacked, we had a replacement called Ralph Ragnick, who was a director of football who has never coached or managed a team before. So, he was like the interim prior to whoever we're going to sign, who is right now, um, why have I just forgotten his name? Eric Ten Hagen, who used to be Ajax's, which is in the Dutch league. Yeah, yeah. Ajax's um, first team manager, first team coach. And he was dominating with Ajax. Oh, so the players, he already set up, he built his team to what he wanted it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming to United now, 
new challenge. Yeah. Obviously, we've been having difficulties. We've been six for the past two or three seasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. Know what I mean, we've not won it. The last trophy we won was 2017 Europa League, to my knowledge. The last Premier League we won 17. was 2013. Oh, God. So it's coming on a decade <laughs> since we've won the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way our competitors and our peers and our mates <laughs> have been bantering us for the de- this decade <laughs> yeah, 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 hasn't yeah. been sitting well with me. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we're not doing anything about it as a team. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you actually know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. We're not doing anything about it as a team. Yeah. It's pissing me off. I'm not, I'm not one to really show emotion like that towards them because I feel like it's one of those stages where Every team goes through a shortfall. Yeah, yeah. It's you, bound you to happen. To. You have high... When you're high... Yeah, when you're, you're up, you're up. high. And we've been... We've been up. Yeah. Oh. Since I was a youth. Yeah. We, 20 years, we've been up. Yeah, stay. stay yeah, yeah, yeah. As Ranked. soon as Fergie left in 2013... Yeah. Whew, it's long. The decline has been <laughs> rapido. <laughs> rapido. <laughs> I'm not going to lie stay. to you, Jay. Yeah, 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 And I've been holding it in for a yeah, while. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been holding it in for a while. <laughs> yeah. Let me just let you know the managers we've been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So after um, after Sir Alex Ferguson, yeah. God bless his soul, left, we've had David Moyes for not even a whole season who got sacked. Yeah. It was gash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we had Louis Van Gaal, who took us to the Europa League final and won us the Europa League final and got sacked immediately after. We then had Jose Mourinho, prolific manager. No, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Um, I think Mourinho got us to the final. I think um, we got to a final of something else with Van Gaal. I could be wrong. But it was around that same period anyway. Yeah, yeah. We had Mourinho, prolific manager. Um, he's won many cups. You know, we, th- we thought he could do something with United. And he said till this date, one of his biggest achievements was making Man United, the shitty Man United, come second in the Premier League with 75 points. City won with 100. I remember that season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said that's one of the best things, one of his best achievements. And he, he, he won. Till his whole career. He's, he's won nothing. We won nothing that year. That shows the level of what he had to do to get us to second. He, yeah, he didn't sleep. With 75, bro, we got 58 last season and we were sixth. We've not smelt second in a minute. Oh. <laughs> I think we've had second twice in 10. Raw. Twice in 10 years we've had second. After Mourinho, he got sacked. Yeah. We had Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, prolific striker for United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had him for uh we had him for a year and a half. But the thing is with him, when we first got him, I think we got him like mids. Yeah, because Mourinho got sacked during the season and then we had um Fingy after the break. I think it was during the like um COVID period, like 1920, I think that period. And we once we once we got him, I think we won like six games on the bounce. And we're thinking, oh, okay. And the first game we played, we won 5 0. I remember fully. I can't remember who we played. It could have been like a Norwich or one of them ones. And we're like, okay, maybe there's something. Maybe they want to play for mm. Oli and they didn't want to play for Mourinho. That's what all the media were saying. I was like, cool, bet, 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 bet. We started on a high, we were sixth. We ended the season, we were sixth. Waste of time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he yeah. got sacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we had an interim. We had uh, Michael Carrick for a few days. So he managed maybe three games. I think. He, we drew two and won one, something like that. And then we got the Ralph Ragnick brother, who I said was the manager. He was a director of football for a completely different team or whatever. Then came to us. He was with us for about four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He realized the amount of surgery that was needed for Man United. Oh, yeah. He said, we need to gut our players. Like, we need like 10 fresh new players. Yeah. Because yeah, what's yeah. happening in our cult isn't yeah, working out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we all agreed. But the thing is, the Glazers are who own Man United, right? And they are not letting up. So it's always down to them whether they say yes or no to these trades. They're trains. moving broke. Yeah. They're not, they're not necessarily moving broke. They're just not adhering to what we need. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's a fan versus owner battle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So it's been yeah. happening for a few years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they know best. Do you know what I mean? Where's there's no bad, and there's, there's no bad students. There's only bad teachers. Facts. That's how they're moving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and the maddest thing is because... Um, the Glazers are an American-based family. Yeah, that's, that can't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it's even worse that they don't yeah, even care yeah, about the yeah, club yeah, 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 because yeah, they're yeah. not even in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they probably have some some sit some subsidiary coming in every other month to check in on man. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but we after that we signed someone else, a director, executive director who speaks to Glazers, blah blah. He's English, but that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the fucking point. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fast forward now to this preseason just gone, which was just this summer. I just gave you a little backburn mm, of mm, what mm. we've been through. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so preseason, right? Yeah. Eric came in. We had we signed three new players who are quality players. We signed a left back, a central defender, as well as a midfielder. Mm. Core key positions. We haven't had a striker yet because we, Marshall was back from in, um, Marshall was back from loan from I think it was uh, Sevilla. Mm. Um, and he was doing well. In pre- we gelled in preseason. Because oh. I watched all the highlights and I watched maybe the last two or three games. Because I got MUTV. I didn't know you yeah, could yeah, watch yeah, the games yeah, yeah. on MUTV until I just got the app. And we were and doing was, bits? We were, we were doing bits. Like, our first game was against Liverpool. And I was thinking, mm. fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> fuck me in preseason. Fuck me. Yeah. Allow it. Like, Give us, we, we let just, us feel good before we, we feel bad. We just got tucked in yeah. at the end of the season. <laughs> yeah. We just got tucked in. So yeah. allow it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm yeah. thinking, oh, this is, this is all going to be long. Like, this is Eric's first Mor- day. Morale's getting Mor- buried. Yeah, this yeah. Is Eric's first day. Yeah, come you know on, man. I mean? won't, we won't see you next week. Bro. Oh. Lo and behold, <laughs> yeah. we tucked him in 4-0. Oh, okay. But first half, he was our A team versus their B team. Uh, and in preseason, you could flip the whole team. Yeah, 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 yeah. So second half, we swapped. We put our B team... They put the A team on and we scored an extra goal. So it was 3-0 the first Bet. half, 1-0 Bet. the second half. Yeah. But that doesn't really mean much. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's great optics. It doesn't mean much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we pretty much bodied the whole um, preseason. We lost one game against Atletico Madrid, which was 1-0, which is a really good game, which I watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also drew our last game against another Spanish team called Rayo Vallecano, which I went to, which was a boring game because it was like a lot of the young teams. But we got to see a lot of the young players play, which I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I love to see. Fast forward to the first game of the season. Home game against Brighton. Bearing in mind, our second to last game of the last season was against Brighton. They tucked us in 4-0. Brighton did? They tucked <laughs> us in 4-0. That's it, that's the game after that was Crystal Palace. Yeah, they yeah. tucked us in 1-0. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Fam, when I say first half, these men were balling. Man, you or Brighton? Brighton. I swear. Were balling on us. <laughs> Yeah. Fam, we yeah, yeah, had yeah. no clue which way was up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had no Pascal Gross. Yeah. He's a midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man buried two goals oh, in swear. the space of nine minutes. I couldn't swear. believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. they were playing as if. Yeah. <laughs> Brighton were playing as if Brighton were playing like a Division One team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ch- like Championship away. team. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was perplexing to me. Like on a Space Jam team, the Monstars. Fam, fam. It was yeah. one of them. It was one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. No, so we, we lost 2-1, not 2-0. We scored again in the second half. It was too little, too late. Yeah, and it yeah. was an own goal. It was a meaty own goal that yeah, kind yeah. of haphazardly went in. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But we claimed it anyway. Yeah. So I was thinking, up, and that was around like 60, 70 minutes. I was thinking, maybe we could do a little something. Yeah. Too little, too late. Cool. We took the first heat. Like, first week down, my peers, our peers are winning. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal yeah, yeah. doing up things. Yeah, yeah, City yeah. doing up things. Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, winning, 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 winning. This weekend, or last weekend rolls around now. We play Brentford away. Bear in mind, we played Brighton just a week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. here we think we've got a solid squad. We're away, we're at their end. Boys, let's just kick some ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Let's no get pressure, loose. no let's fans. Let's get loose. It's not OT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not 75,000 man in OT. Understandable. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. We're in a little 20,000 ting. Let's just kick some ball. Yeah, We've yeah. got the names on the pitch. Yeah. James, 35 minutes in, 4-0. <laughs> James, 45, 35 <laughs> minutes into the first half, these men tucked <laughs> us in 4-0. I couldn't That's... believe what I was watching. The estimated value of Brentford's team was yeah. 55 million. The estimated value of our team was something along the lines of 554 million. Oh. And I couldn't That's... believe yeah. I couldn't believe what I was watching, James. It, um, it's like the price tags were the other way around. Yeah, if I was an owner, if I was a Glazer, I'm on the next plane. Brother! Yeah, I want an explain and I want to see everyone. I want to see everyone. I want explanations. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, I'm burning money now. The thing is, it's not even just the fact that we lost for and it was how we lost it, bro. Oh, I swear. So this that was all in the first half. <laughs> yeah. So the first goal was a David De Gea mistake. Yeah. Um, his name is De Silva. He shot the ball. Simple pickup, 
drop, collect. Yeah. It slipped through his fingers, went in. De Gea, David De Gea, the world's highest paid goalkeeper. Let that, literally let that That's slide. That's a PE thing. That's a PE thing. He literally let that slide. I was like, that's an the added insult to that is our number two keeper is called Dean Henderson. He wanted to, he stayed with us all of last season because he wanted top spot this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing for a fact he wasn't going to get, we had a new manager, blah, blah, blah. He dipped to Nottingham Forest. So he's on loan for a year in Nottingham Forest. They won their game yesterday. He's just saved it. he saved the penalty. Ah, oh, shut Insult to injury. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's cleaning up in Nottingham Forest. Two yeah. games in, he, he's, respected he's respected over there. Respected. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah. points. <laughs> no, they got three points. I'm lying. They got I'm three sweated. points. I'm actually fucking sweated. Yeah, Second on. goal. <laughs> Second goal for Brentford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. De Gea. Pot. The thing with Eric um, Tan Hag, he wants us to play from the back. None of this <laughs> um, goal kick, kick it long. Play from the back, create the space, yeah, yeah, open yeah. it up, yeah, yeah, tear yeah. it up in the midfield, goal. Yeah, you know what chest I mean? thing. Exactly. Because yeah. that's how we did it in pre-season. Yeah, I was yeah. watching it. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We knew what and we were I was doing. loving it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. From the back, literal kick. I think he kicked to the Maguire, Maguire. Maguire passed it back to him. Then he passed the ball to Ericsson. Ericsson wasn't paying attention. Like, he was fumbling. Counter, <laughs> boom, they scored. I was like, cool, two mistakes. All right, we need to yeah, fix yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, wake up. Wake the fuck up. We can't yeah. be making these mistakes anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's 2-0. Yeah. Yeah. It's been 15 minutes. Yeah. You yeah, may need yeah. to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may yeah. need to fucking chill <laughs> because it's going to get dangerous now for Man United. <laughs> Things are going to get and dangerous Brentford for Man United. Brentford are just 11 boners on the Bre- field now. <laughs> We're hard as a rock. Bro. Yeah, big man you. Big man United. Uh, in my yard. I know I'm getting sucked <laughs> off tonight. That's what I know for a fact. James, third goal. How did what happened? So third goal, we have a defender, a new signing called um, Martinez, right? So he is five foot nine. Yeah. But he plays um, central defense, and for central defense, like you are pivotal for like um, set pieces and corners yeah, to get the yeah. ball out because yeah, yeah. You, you have to be tall. You have to be like six two plus. Mm. Because defenders and strikers around you are 6'2 plus. Mm, mm, mm. So there's a brother called Ben Me who plays for Brentford. He's about 6'3. So a ball's coming down. Obviously, it's uh, Martinez versus Ben Me. Ben Me doesn't even need to jump. He just knocks the ball in. Yeah. And my man's just there. Off. What do you expect? There's mismatch thing. Mismatch all over the shot. Oh. So second half, we swapped him for Varane. Varane's a lot yeah, taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> the fourth goal, I guarantee you, is going to be the goal of the month for August. I swear. Well gone. If not the goal of the month, it's going to be top three yeah, for yeah. August because there was, a, there was a banger the other day yeah. as well. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he scored a banger the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love football, guys. So. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I could listen to you talk football for ages. Oh, right. I love talking about football. I could tell. Someone needs to scoop you up. <laughs> not uh, on, a, on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> on a different day. But yeah, Sky Sports needs to scoop you up. But yeah, fourth goal? Yeah. <sighs> so we had the ball. We were doing a tiki taka, like I said, play from the from goalkeeper, the yeah, 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 all the way to there, and we were in their in their goal area, bro. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah. trying to do tiki taka before we scored. They, coll- I can't remember who they took the ball off. They yanked it off him in their goal space. Man took one touch, looked up, saw Ivan Tony pinging it down the line. Took another touch, squared the ball to him immediately before the ball landed. Right, Ivan Tony so saw. Um, Mb- uh, what's his name? Mbumo. He was, he's, a, he's a striker for Brentford. Mm. I can't remember who he was tossing with. It could have been Martinez again. Yeah, yeah. He looked twice. The ball bounced twice and he first time passed it. Ooh. The pass was beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, My man, uh, Mbume, trapped it, put some body around yeah, him, boxed turned, him out. Yeah. and sold the hair. Uh. The hair went one way, the ball went the other. I've not seen a counter like that in a very, very, <laughs> very long time. Right. That took all of about six to ten seconds to happen. That counter was, I, I, I'm ashamed to say, that counter was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. This is first half wrapped. That was first half, brother. First, we didn't we didn't concede in the second half, but that's yeah. neither no that's no, no I can't get the words. That's <sighs> no shameful here behavior. It's shameful behavior. I, <clears throat> Half a billion on the field, and they got. Fam, we've been tucked in 6-1 on aggregate on two games. We've scored what? We've not even scored a goal because it was a long goal. We've not scored a goal because <laughs> Ronaldo played the whole game. And my issue with Ronaldo is the thing is I I don't have an issue with Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. United fan, other United fans have an issue with Ronaldo because people are saying he's um 
he gets too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He gets too frustrated on the field and blah, blah, blah. But he's the only one in my eyes showing passion. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Regardless of whatever you want to say about Ronaldo, he's 37 going on 38. Last season, he was our highest goal scorer. Say he scored less. 20 goals. Say less. Or 24 goals, 18 in the Premier League. Yeah, say less. Say Do you know less. what I mean? Yeah, say less. He's, he's 37. To work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here to work. And you, man, you, what are you, man, doing? <laughs> You're TikTok dancing on the field. Do you know what I mean? And you say you have a problem with me. <laughs> Of course he's going to be stressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course he would get tucked in for I came in for little. no reason. Literally no reason. Yeah. He thought he was going to come back and have a heyday with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. all thought. Yeah, that's what everyone thought. That's what we... I thought Fam, it was going to be a great day Him in signing with Man U almost got me back into football. Bro, almost. do you know what I mean? Almost. I was like, I mean? are you joking? That's madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about to turn up. <sighs> yeah, this... It's all silly. Bro, he was slapping his knee at 4-0. Yeah. <laughs> slapping his knee. Yeah. What am I doing here? Yeah, and I yeah, do not blame him. Yeah, these man, uh, he, these rates, he's going to he's gonna go to fucking Abu Dhabi. Bro. And I do just, it up for I this just, billion dollar deal or whatever it is. I don't blame him. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him either, bro. It's, it's so annoying that he gets a lot of the stick when he's the one, obviously not this season yet because we yet to score a goal. But last season, um, he was the one to score the highest, um, the most goals. But anyway, to the point of why I've got this rant about United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm ranting like this is because <clears throat> I feel like, slight tangent, Arsenal last season, I've, another tangent, I'll come back to Arsenal last season. Arsenal have a show called um, All or Nothing on Amazon Prime. I was going to talk to you about that. It's I was amazing. To, I was, have I haven't, seen it? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Yeah. But it is, <clears throat> tell you what, just tangent. put a pin in what yeah, you're going to yeah, say because yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want you to forget. Yeah, 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 put yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, pin yeah, in yeah, it. Sailor, sailor, Do sailor. not forget. Yeah, sailor, 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 sailor. <laughs> But I'm sweating. I'm I was excited. talking to my brother about this the other yeah, day yeah. because in Manu they've got that um, in Manu in Manchester they've got a fucking huge billboard mm. for this Arsenal yes, show. Yes, 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 yes. Disrespectful. <laughs> in Ma- big Manchester, yeah, you know. I've never seen it, but I know, the, I know the billboard you're talking it's about. It's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking huge. Okay. And um, <coughs> <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> Facts. But <clears throat> I was saying to my brother, we walked past the billboard, yeah. and I said, "Do you know why I'm?" F- Fucking with Arsenal at the minute. Mm. They signed this deal with Prime. Yeah. Intelligent. Yeah. Because realistically speaking, who gives a fuck mm. who the drink for Arsenal is? Yeah, yeah, no yeah, one. Yeah. But it's the fact that it's Prime, Prime, KSI and Logan Paul's drink. 100 M's. Bro, they're bringing young audiences now. Fam. Fam. You're bringing in young audiences. Fam. And then, and then, they do the smartest thing possible. Mm. They take one look. Whoever's running their fucking media marketing team yeah. is a fucking genius. Okay. They took one look. Who, Arsenal or KSI man's? No, uh, Arsenal. Okay. They've done this prime team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bet. Yeah. We've got these young men mm. who are going to be gassed now. Mm-hmm. KSI is going to promote us because mm-hmm. KSI loves Arsenal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He He's going to promote the mm-hmm. shit out of us. Mm-hmm. That's patterned. Mm-hmm. Now, who on, how else are we going to get fans? Let's take one look at how the most boring fucking sport on the planet has had a resurgence in fans. Drive to fucking survive. Mm. Four seasons deep and these mm. men can't get enough of it. Mm. And mm. now Formula mm. One's had a complete mm-hmm. renaissance. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do it. Fact. Let's fucking do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you think I'm not watching this Arsenal, I ain't watched football in like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching this <laughs> Arsenal team. I am watching because I love Drive to Survive. Yeah, and yeah. fuck Formula yeah, One yeah. before that. Yeah, facts. Before Drive to Survive, fuck facts. Formula One. Facts. Who gives a fuck? Facts. I'm watching this Arsenal show. So who's run? Whoever they've put in the media team, yeah. in the marketing team, the head of marketing for Arsenal needs a raise because this year alone, this year alone, he's patterned a bang bang, yeah. a bang bang. I couldn't believe it. Brad, I couldn't believe You're it. Me. I'm thinking whoever's the director of marketing for Arsenal is killing it. Fucking hell. Back to you. <laughs> Bro, just a slight tangent to that. You know, there's there's bare all or nothings, right? <clears throat> it's not just Arsenal. Oh, shut up then. I'll shut up then. I'll shut up then. Right, I didn't know that. I, I just saw the Arsenal. I was like, no, raw genius. No, so there's there's Arsenal. There's I've seen the Man City one as well. Oh, I watched this. I've seen the Arsenal. One. Boring. Man City. There's Juventus. There's Brazil. There's there's loads. There's Tottenham. There's quite a, so all or nothing is a brand. Oh, I didn't know and, that. I thought they, this Arsenal team was the first no, one. No, no, I was like, raw American um, footballer there as well for all or nothing. Like ah, the, bet the, right. The Uting, whatever it's called. Cancel everything I just said yeah. for the last five minutes after the prime bit. Yeah. Prime still yes, <laughs> gassed. Cancel the rest. Back oh. to you, Fuad. <laughs> so yeah, my tangent with Arsenal is like. 
Last season, Arsenal as well are also owned by an American family mm. called the Cronkies. I think I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a terrible name, but in it. Uh, by an American family called the Cronkies. And what, what um, Mikel Arteta is doing with Arsenal, I hate to say it, but I think it's genius. I swear. I hate to say it, <laughs> but it's genius. What's he doing? So in the last season and a half, he signed so many young players mm. and he's brought up so many young players from the academy as well. And he's just offloaded all the older players. So the average, they're the youngest average um, age team in the Premier League. Oh, okay. Going. Since, yeah, yeah, yeah. since last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they're all average between 21 and 24. Gang. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so like I said, he um, owned by Americans and they shelled out. They, they, back, they basically backed Arteta. Oh. Saying, what do you need? We will supply the funds. They spent 156 million in the transfer window last season. They spent the most of anyone. Bet. First, because I've been watching the... Obviously, I watched the season last season as well, but I watched um, Arsenal All or Nothing. Literally, after the 4-0 that we... Yeah, that yeah, we yeah, got, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't want to know what... Eric Tang had to say. <laughs> I didn't want to listen to the commentary. <laughs> I just flipped to the side. Yeah, and I yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know? yeah. I was going to watch it regardless, but it just made more sense to watch it then. Um, they lost their first three games. Mm. And it's one of those ones where, as a football fan or a, or a fan of any sport, like if you're supporting your team beginning of the season and you're not capitalizing over the first two or three games, you're going to think, what the fuck yeah, is going on with my it. team? Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is going on with my team? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck's going on with my manager? This is shit. Yeah. We need to change it immediately. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. was saying, Arteta out, Arteta out, Arteta out. And I was thinking, as a United fan, because uh, we, I think we won our first game last season and uh, we drew the second or something like that. I couldn't care less about how they were yeah, doing. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just paid attention to it because I love football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? As the season was going on, they started to gel and they started to make those changes where one person that changed their whole season, in my opinion, is um, Aaron Ramsdale, who is, for context, who his last two teams that he was in were both relegated. He was oh, at right. Bolton and he was at Sheffield. Yeah. Sheffield, Uni Sheffield United. <clears throat> they're, in the, they're in the Premier League two seasons ago. Got demoted, got relegated and Arsenal bought them, bought, bought him as their number one keeper. Mm. And I was like, that's a bold move. Mm. You're seeing something in him that none of us have seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Burton Leno was their number one keeper, but he's injury prone and he lets goals in. Oh, so they so played yeah. City, I think the third or second game of last season, tucked in 5-0. Oh, dear. And to make, them, to make it worse, Arteta was um, Pep's understudy for Man City for two or three years before he left to be an Ooh, manager of Arsenal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. there was that added... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Va -va -voom yeah. With it. There was yeah, that yeah. added va-va-voom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So getting tucked in 5-0 was... They were away. They were at the city ground, but that's nonetheless. Mm. That, that, that burnt him. Scrapped Leno off, got in Ramsdale, and things started moving. Mm. So things started moving. So he's adopted all these young players, got them to understand his style of play, and throughout, like, the, I would say, like, the first, um, let's say the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Let's say the season is split up into, like, eighths, right? Let's say the second and the third out of the eighth of the season, as well as the, maybe the sixth and the seventh of the season, they were playing football. Oh, They so were winning games, Oh, James. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, what, they had a stretch of, like, five games on being, had another stretch of, like, ten games on being. Not necessarily one, but it could be draw, win, yeah, draw, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, unbeaten. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, ended yeah. up the season fifth. They could have been fourth by one point. Gang. So it's like... So now they're coming... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're coming in hot. They're coming in hot. And uh, yeah, this yeah, season, yeah. they signed Gabriel Jesus, who left Man City to go to <coughs> Arsenal. Preseason, dominating. Mm. Dominating. They played a game yesterday. They won 4-2. Jesus scored two and assisted the other two goals. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, now we've got a playmaker on our no, hands. We've got a playmaker, we've got a keeper, and we've got the midfield pattern. Oh, dear. Come for us. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Arteta is saying come for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're ready and now. The thing, the reason why I actually love All or Nothing, regardless of the team, is the way, what you literally see behind the scenes. Arteta knows how to speak to his players. Oh, okay, bet. When he always does like a pre-match talk, an hour before, and literally like five minutes before the match. And the way he speaks to them, like the... The re the repeat of the Arsenal City, obviously they lost 5 0. So the repeat when Arsenal were at home, they got one of the photographers to speak to the team. Mm. The photographer has been playing, uh, he's been working for Arsenal for 20 years. So he's seen legends come oh, and go. He's swear. seen Thierry Henry. He's yeah. seen Lundberg. He's seen um, 
Lamb. Oh, he's seen all of them. He's seen all of them come and go. And he said, this team right here, you are the next team. Oh, I see it. Damn. I see it. So I want you guys to go out there and fucking show me. You know, I nah, love this club. Nah, nah, nah. I that love was, this club. I would be, I'd need to punch a stranger, fam. fam? That would gas me. The way these men screamed, they won the game 3 1. Came back and the, the dressing room erupted. I bet. Erupted. I fucking bet. And I was like, going back to United, right? All these men are saying, oh, Eric Taghagen out. He doesn't know what he's doing, blah, blah, blah. Big man. He's come from a Dutch league where he's always pretty much winning every game, where he's won three seasons on the bounce and their like goals for and against ratio was like 172 to 20 something. Mm. He was comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. He signed a five foot nine cent, uh, defensive mid, uh, defensive mid, uh, um, a centre back, knowing not knowing what the Premier League's like, you know? So for them to say he needs to go or whatever is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been two games out of 38. Mm-mm-mm. His, t- his team haven't had time to jump. Let's forget preseason. That's all well and good, but it doesn't count and it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just to get the players fit again, yeah, fit-ish again. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you can't, you can't judge the Premier League on fucking two, three, four, five games. You need a fucking huge run. I'm not saying I want us to lose five games before we find our, yeah, find our fucking feet. Yeah. That's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. so, someone yeah, has to yeah. have a sit down with yeah, you yeah, losing yeah. five with a bounce. Draw me. Yeah. Yeah, give me yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But everyone was saying Arteta route last season and look what he did for them. You mm, know? Mm, 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 and I'm not trying, it's annoying because I hate the fact that I'm having to compare United with Arsenal in this specific instance. Yeah. But, this is the reality of our situation right now. Mm, mm, mm. We are no longer the team we used to be. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. not winning trophies. We're not feared. Maguire is is so timid. He's tall, but he's timid. Yeah. And he's our captain. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, that's not, long. he's not engulfing any fire into anyone's yeah, belly. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, it's long. It's so jarring, bro. And do you know the peak is thing? When this comes out, the, today will be, because we play next Monday, which will be today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we play Liverpool at home. And we just got tucked in 4 0. <laughs> Morale is low, James. <laughs> yeah, Morale yeah, yeah. is low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we going to do? Yeah. We have the, the only saving grace. Yeah. And people might find this comment weird because, and it, well, I, I give a fuck. The only saving grace I feel like we have is Marshall. Okay. You heard it here first. Yeah. Because Marshall wasn't doing that great before he went on loan to Sevilla. And we had alternate strikers. We had alternative strikers at the time. So he dipped out. He's also a bit injury prone as well. When he came back, he was firing in preseason. Mm. You could tell like he missed working with the boys we used to work with, you know, and it, it just looks like, okay, we are, we look a lot more polished. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he got injured, I think the week before the season started. So he was definitely going to miss the first two games, i.e. Bright- Brighton and Brentford. And he was skeptical for the Liverpool game. But I just read a tweet, I think the other day saying he's back into training now. So by Monday, hopefully he should be ready. If cool. not, it's going to be the game after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I see it as he is literally our only grace to even find in something. Because if we just need to score, we've not scored a goal, James. That's... Man United <laughs> have not scored a goal in two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my rant I'm over. sorry, bro. That's my rant over. Jesus, that was a serious rant, bro. Yeah, bro. That was like 30 minutes. Yeah, I haven't spoken about football in a while. I liked it. Oh, I enjoyed I've, I've it. I missed football. Oh, I I've bet. I missed football. I bet, bro. I love that. Someone needs to scoop you. I'm telling you. I've missed. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. football, James. Yeah. I, oh, I can hear it. Woo. I can fucking hear it, bro. Um, but yeah, back to our regular, regular show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank fuck I put chapters in. Yeah. <laughs> thank fuck I put chapters in. Speaking of, little rant from me. <laughs> Some man ignore chapters. Do you know how long it takes me to add chapters to these episodes? It's effort for me. It's effort for me to do it. And some people will be like, bro, oh, when they're going to move on from yeah. this? Click, Click the, the next chapter. chapter. Yeah. <laughs> Click the it next chapter. It, it says it right there. That's hilarious. Anyway, that's, that's my hilarious. run over. The 10 second run. Um, that's so jokes. I saw a, a thread yeah. on Shadeborough the other day, mm. which had me howling. All right, bet. I love, I love it when you find shit that I've not seen. Oh, bro. Or I've not even thought to put on our show. <laughs> Fam? Cool. So this was a tweet that they posted mm-hmm. and the comments were popping off. Okay. Women love to be scorned. 
They see. They pretend like they don't like it, but they secretly love it. <coughs> okay. Right. So the tweet from some brer was, since women are known for stealing men's hoodies. <sighs> did you see this? Like since so women are known for stealing men's hoodies, is there something men are known for taking from a woman's home? Fam, the responses were disgraceful. Uh, bro, I remember. Right. <laughs> the remember. comments. I literally just took like five or six. Yeah. Disgraceful. Right. <laughs> So, is it for context? Is there something men are known from taking from women? First thing I saw, they take me for granted. <laughs> Fam, they take me for granted. Facts. The next one, <laughs> they <laughs> they take my kids' Capri Suns. <laughs> I saw that. Fam, I saw after that. a wholesome nut, yeah. I need juice. I need juice. I need glucose. I'm I fried. need the electrolytes. Yeah, I need yeah, the yeah. bounce. Yeah. I'm holding some. I need a sugar high and I need to dip. <laughs> <laughs> they take my dignity. <laughs> Bro. They, <laughs> this one sweetened me. The good charger. The good oh. Charger. No, you're a criminal. Yeah, you're fam. You're a criminal. If they you do take that. the good oh, charger. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, I did not burn see that me one. when I read that. I thought, fuck. <laughs> yeah. The good you. charger, you oh. know? Not now that frayed sh- little yeah. thing. You gotta be shaking it in. Oh, like, fam. And stuff. <laughs> this one. They took my credit score. Just no. burning credit cards. Burning credit oh, cards. Oh, wow. Wow. Catalogs for days. Wow. That's they peak. took my credit That's score. Peak. Fam, the next one, they take the piss. Facts. Literally. Facts. They take the fucking Facts. piss. They took my youth. Fam, they took my you youth took from me. All, all they took I'm it all now. from me. The last one, fam, they take me for idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they take me for idiot. <laughs> Hilarious. Bro. The women of this world are so <laughs> fucking funny. It's unbearable. Oh, I read one that said it, they take my peace of mind. Yeah, I read that too. Fucking They hell, take bro. my peace of mind and my trust. <laughs> <laughs> bro. It's the funny. That was, I read it. I was like, that's so fucking hilarious. It, yeah. Bro, so jokes. Oh, my days. I fucking knew up. as soon as I saw that tweet, I knew the comments were going to yeah, be popping. Fire. Fire. Women hate men. They do. They but they do. just let them into their yeah. homes <laughs> like vampires. They just invite them in and then just get vexed. Yeah. They took the good charger. Oh, that, that, that That's I can't unaccept- stand for. Yeah. <laughs> that I can't stand for. No yak could ever take my good charger. I can't stand for And that. leave me for the freighting. Nah, nah, that's, man, man that's unacceptable. Yeah, you can't run do it that. back. You run can't it back. do that. You, you literally Take can't. a piece of mind, but not a charger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, unacceptable. Yeah. Take her youth, leave her charger. <laughs> leave her charger. Fuck. Fuck it out. So that's hilarious. Um, you had a trash news as well, right? Oh, right. before you jump into the trash news, I've yeah. got a little bit of a trash news stroke rant. Oh, hit me. Ekin Sue needs to take a day off. Ekin Sue needs to take a day the fuck off. And fuck Love Island. Yeah. But everyone who voted for her to win, yeah. be ashamed of yourself because she manipulated everyone. Every- She's signing deals. She's been out three days. She signed multi million <laughs> deals and she just announced a travel show. How long has this been cooking? I'm so furious about it, Fuad. I'm so lividly furious. Davide just seems he's up for the ride. Yeah! She's Davide's here. just there. He's here for the dance on the ride. She came at it with an agenda. <laughs> a fucking manipulative agenda. Oh, my days. That's jokes. That's jokes. She took everyone in this country for idiot. <laughs> a travel show. How long did that? She hasn't had time to. Cooking. 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 Her manager would have patterned all of that. Bro! Yeah, man. This cooking. has been cooking since the day she entered the house. Cooking, bro. Cooking. I can't fault a PR. I can't fault I it can't either. I can't fault a PR. Old Polly, one million. And Old the Polly. One million. The mil. face of Old Polly, one million dot pound deal. Literally Days did. after she left the villa. Uh, she just won 50 bags that day. 50 bags that day. And she got a mill. She got later. a mill a couple days later. And, and then, then I'm hearing a tra- travel show. You look. <laughs> I saw that and threw my fucking phone. <laughs> I was like, is this bitch serious? A travel show. It's been a few days. Let it, let it marinate. Uh, let, us, let us believe you actually love, love each, each other. other. And this isn't just a hoax. 
Let's believe it for a second. She doesn't care. Oh, that's too funny. She doesn't care. That's too funny. We've got India out here just gashing got a blue tick. <laughs> Doing Kiss FM. True, true, true. Doing up Kiss true, FM. True, true. Kiss true, Fresh true, with Henry. True. true. Little India. True. She's happy to be here. True. Ekin Sue's <laughs> doing big money deals. <laughs> what the rest of you man doing? <laughs> Firm, she manipulated the oh whole game. Oh my God. Gas that for blue little kid. Ekin Sue's busy. Ekin, she's busy making million dollar deals. <laughs> and you man, are doing... <laughs> you man are doing up blue ticks. <laughs> Tweeting about blue ticks. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Where's the money? Where the fuck is the money, India? Oh. That's what I want to hear. And what's that man's name? Dami. Dami in India. Yeah. Where's the money? Because you were the beloved. Yeah, you, you were they, the beloved black were. power yeah. couple. Oh, they were. And you man are doing up Kiss Fresh <laughs> and Blue Ticks. <laughs> Ekin Sue's making deals, bro. What's going on? I love the passion. <laughs> bro, I'm, love, I'm so angry about it. I love it. the passion. <laughs> yes. Dami and India need to step your money up. We're doing blue ticks oh, and dances and kiss fresh with Henry. Dances. Oh. Let's make some money. The thing is, I know that they were they are a very buff couple. They will, they're gonna, they're gonna get some modeling, something, something. But they're I, gonna do something. The only the thing is, right, because I watched I watched majority of last season Love Island. I didn't watch probably like the first few weeks. Mm. So I watched it probably like just a, maybe a, a week before Casa Amor and then everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw little tidbits of Ekin Sue's like bad behavior, bad side, manipulative side yeah, yeah, yeah. towards the rest of the um, Islanders. Only a little bit. But and then I saw the other side of her or the other side of both of them because they, they are very much a married couple. They argue, they cook, they make up, they laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And watching it on telly is actual entertainment. Yeah, 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 watching yeah, yeah, yeah. them too is actual entertainment. So from that period alone, I knew they were going to win. E oh, right. I knew they Everyone were going to win. Everyone loved them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, they were automatically drawn. I knew they were going to win. The, but that aside, every single body, every single couple in that house loved Dami and India. Bro. They all did. Bro. There was a thing where they had to vote for their two least, favor least compatible couples. Dami and India got zero votes out of the six. Everyone else got four, three, two, one votes. They got none. I was thinking, gang. Where's, because where's the money? Where's the money where's at the then? Where's the money? Where's the money at? <laughs> Fam, literally, I'm not even joking. On whatever day it was, Thursday, because I showed it to you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, O-Poly thing. Yeah, yeah, Thursday, yeah, yeah. we're doing up O-Poly, yeah. one million deal. Yeah. By Saturday, we're doing travel up travel, show. Yeah, yeah. In a I'm week. In, in the space of a week. Less than. And then I'm going on Instagram and Shade Bros talking about how India's gas that she got blue tick. Show me some money. Balance. Show me some money. money. Yeah, some money, money. But then again, that's exactly what happened with... Um, it's actually a reverse team because Amber won the show a few years ago. Mm. It was the same year as Molly May, no? Molly May got the PLT thing. Amber, to our knowledge... Didn't this, oh, that's a mixed race, yeah? Yeah, she didn't get nothing. Well, I think she got some, but... <laughs> nothing, that's what I'm talking about. Nothing. These white men are doing her business <laughs> deals. These black lot are... Where's fucking... What's his face? From five years ago. Who? Basketball Donnie. What's his oh, name again? O Ovi. Where's Ovi, Ovi at? Yeah. yeah. He was the guy. Yeah, he was. The nation loved him. Fam. Black, white, Asian, Fam. green, red, blue. They he loved him. He was the him. new Anthony Joshua. Yeah, they loved Where's him. the money at? He just grew Kane Row. That's all he did. He's doing up Kane Row and do-rags. Where's the money at? These men are doing PLT. These men are doing O'Poly. Oh, don't. Fam, these white don't. men are cleaning up. It's yeah. business for them. yeah. yeah. These black lot are just here. We're just here. Where's the money at, India? Dami, where's the money at? Ovi, where's the money at? Amber. Amber's just complaining about yeah. stuff till now. She just complains she about tweets. stuff. She tweets and gossips. She tweets and gossips. She's on a podcast talking about who's sliding her DMs and stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Amber, where's the, the money? Where, where's the fucking... Danika's twerking on some club yeah, team. Yeah, I saw that. Where's the money? Where's the money, where's the money at? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where yeah, is it? When you put it in context like that, yeah. These white yeah. men are doing up yeah. deals. They're doing business. <laughs> They're doing business. They're coming out of the villa and making cash. What are we doing? What are we doing? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We're I'm... twerking. We're barling. <laughs> we're gossiping. We're whistleblowing. 
<coughs> nah, <coughs> and we're just TikTok dancing. Yeah, oh my God, oh my God. Let's do some deals, guys. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not even joking anymore. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, do yeah, some yeah, deals. Yeah, we yeah. can make it happen. Let's do some deals. I like the energy. It needs to happen because I'm tired happen. of it. I like the energy. I'm sick and tired of it really year like after energy. year yeah. after year. And the, and I feel like uh, Damien and India were like the, fir the first power black couple in... Um, Love Island. There was one a few years ago with, um, I can't remember his name, but I remember his face. And the other chick that um, was at um, uh, the baby shower. I can't remember her name. I can't, but you know what I'm talking about. She's banging. Yeah. She, you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, I know yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. yeah Priscilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Priscilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't, I can't remember the guy. He, her she, skin don't make sense. It doesn't. It's... It's clear, like it's, it doesn't have. There's no um. There, she doesn't have pores. Ble no pores or blemishes. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't have pores. It's she's, just she's glow. A, a, uh, <laughs> it's the buffest dark skin yeah. skin yeah, I've yeah. ever seen. It looks like it's made of velvet yeah. or something. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> if, it's yeah. matted. It's yeah, like, it's, it's oh, matte. It's matte. It's black. matte. <laughs> it don't make sense. Yeah, Priscilla banging. Yeah, yeah, it's banging. Yeah. So um, her and I can't remember the brother's name. Forgive me. But they were a little, a little power couple once they left as well. I think they came like third or fourth in, in that season. But it didn't really do much. Deals. Out. Where's the deals? Oh, could I be thinking of someone else? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. No, it, is, it was Priscilla. I'm sure it was Priscilla. Anyway, long story short, yes, let's do up some deals. Yeah, Funk. guys. Are you melanin, man? Yeah, let's do up some let's deals. Do up some deals yeah, let's do up some deals. Because this is becoming a running trend and it's yeah. embarrassing to yeah, look at. Yeah. <laughs> It really is. It's honestly embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, yeah, let's do some big money deals. Big money deals. This time next year, the next power black couple that comes out of Love Island in the first week, deals. Yeah, we we need... want to see no none of this blue tick dancing malarkey. <laughs> yeah, we want to see big boy headline yeah, deals. Blue tick needs to be the least of the your least issues. Of your worry, you should have been blue tick before you leave the villa. Yeah, like Ekisu did. Yeah, Ekisu's you know I mean? doing up a million followers before she's before even she, exited. Before she even knew she won, she was on one point five. So what are we doing here? Let's capitalize. <laughs> yeah. Because we all know Love Island can make you a career. Yeah. And Ekansu knew that from time. From before she got in there, she was like, bet. Yeah. She had her agent doing due diligence oh, from early, early, behind the scenes. Early. You man are just caught up in the love. <laughs> you just caught up in it. Stop. <laughs> Fucking stop. Focus. Fo <laughs> focus. Focus. Because I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> Christ. Anyway, Fuck. yeah, the trash news. Fuck, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was so unexpectedly hilarious. Oh my god. Right. There was a video, but I honestly can't find the video anymore, so I've only got a picture. So drunk driver who crashed her Mercedes going a hundred miles an hour in LA killed six people is identified as 37-year-old nurse Nicole Lil Linton. She tried to commit suicide over a man. Context. The woman responsible for the tragic multi-car wreck at the La Brea Slauson intersection in West LA Thursday has been identified as, well, I just said, 37-year-old nurse Lorraine Linton. <clears throat> Linton survived the oh, fiery nice. crash and has been arrested amid her hospitalization on grounds of vehicular, vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, according to the authorities. She said um, she got, um, she's currently at Ronald Reagan uh, Medical Center with moderate injuries. Suspected of driving at least 100 miles an hour, the drunk driver plowed into the busy intersection at 1.40 p.m. LA Sentinel claims the life of six people, including a pregnant woman, identified by the coroner as Ashery Ryan, 23, and an infant son. This woman tried to duppy herself because of next man and duppied off six other men and came and just out came with out moderate injury. With, with second degree burns. That's bro, but the man at the video, she was booming. I swear. It was impactful. Oh no. So that's the picture. Jesus. I saw it on Twitter. Fam, she sped onto oncoming traffic. I couldn't believe it. Christ almighty. Because of man. That could, bro. That's that is. I'm happy she's actually got arrested because that's stupid. That's bro, fucking stupid. Regardless of the situation, like kill if, yourself in peace. In peace, like I know. I this is not something we ever see. Obviously, ever got to promote or whatever. But yeah. don't ever put other people's lives in your hand because of how you feel. Yeah, bro. Honestly, like 
obviously, we get it. Like you're going through literally the worst possible yeah. thing to the point where you're like, I don't want to live yeah. anymore. Yeah. Like I literally don't want to live anymore. Yeah. And so it's hard to kind of speak logic into of that. Of course, of course. But same way. Away from me. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to do it, keep the, the innocence out of it. Bro, that's all we Drop are. Drop it off six other people. That's all we are. And she got a couple birds. She didn't even die. And she's just going to link up with a therapist and... She's going to do up jail. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's going to have to do she's, up pen. She's going to have to... And she's now going to live the rest of her life in pen like, fuck. I could have just gone to therapy or something. Yeah, literally. Like, I'm over... What guy? From a year in, I'm over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm eating none now anyway. Oh, yeah. I've been eating none. Oh, it's... it's That's horrible, bro. Horrible, bro. That's fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. I saw it and I was like, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That took a a sharp turn. Sharp turn. Wow, we... Right, I've got none of the arsehole. Gang. Okay, cool. So this is a a little bit of a long one, but not really. So... Hi guys, I just want a third party opinion and not from someone who's connected to the situation. Basically, I've been with my partner for nine years. We've got two kids together and we're never getting married. He's made that clear. Basically, I don't even like him anymore. Oh, wow. Bro, I'm not sure if I even love him. I feel we've wasted a lot of time over the last few years and he refuses to accept this and move out. Our relationship can either be okay or very toxic. We never do anything together. We've never been on holiday together. Oh. Bro, we've been out a maximum of four times in together. The in the nine years, we've been out a maximum of four times for food. Wow. I do all these things with the kids on my own. He's never interested or wants to come along, but he refuses to leave. I kick him out and he comes back to see the kids and just lurks around. Okay. I'm thinking about doing a midnight flick, just packing me and the kids up and leaving and not even telling him, just cutting off, cutting off all contact. He isn't interested in doing any family stuff. The thing that makes me feel bad is the kids are used to seeing him every day and him vice versa. Mm. If I was to leave, would I be an asshole? If I did tell him, it would just turn into a massive drama. <clears throat> Which I've never understood because I'm 95% sure he doesn't even like us being around him anyway. It's very confusing. I'm tired of wasting my time and his. I do find him attractive and he does provide financially, but that's it. There is no more layers to our relationship. He says he loves me and the kids, but I think it's quite obvious he isn't invested in the family. What do you think? So, recap. They've been together um, Nine nine years. They, they've got two kids together they don't sleep together they don't go out together he has no interest in her she has no interest in him at this point mm. their relationship at any one point their relationship is either just okay mm-hmm. or extremely toxic mm-hmm. she's kicked him out multiple times and all he does is come over to see the kids and just doesn't leave <laughs> he comes back over to see the kids <laughs> He comes over smart. to see, yeah, he, <laughs> very smart. He's a piece of shit, boy. He, he comes over to see his children but and says, I need to see my fucking kids. I need to, they're my kids. I need my children, and he just doesn't leave. <laughs> he brings his bag with him and puts it down and sits the fuck down. Feet up and all. Feet up. Shoes off, feet up. Um, and then so she's thinking, right, I've tried everything to get this guy out of my house. Yeah. It's not working. Obviously, they're married. She probably legally can't get rid of him. So the only thing she can think to do now is based on the fact that he shows very little interest in her, very little interest into the kids that he keeps wanting to see. Yeah. She wants to pack the kids up in the middle of the night and fucking run away. Cut off all contact, which means the kids are never going to see their dad again. Yeah. Most likely. Most likely. Um, Which she thinks is the only way that she's ever going to be able to move on from this Mm -hmm. and this horrible relationship. But her only concern is the kids love their dad. Mm -hmm. They live with their dad. Mm -hmm. And the dad needs his kids. Mm Mm-hmm. So she would, she feels like potentially, I'm put, maybe putting words in her mouth, she probably feels like it's a very selfish decision mm-hmm. that mainly benefits her more than anyone else. Of course. <clears throat> so what should she do? Would she be an asshole if she did it? If she wants to say, if I just pack up my shit in the middle of the night and take the kids and run, am I the asshole? Not even <clears throat> to even talk about the latter or like the bottom half of what she just said. I think she's the asshole for knowing that 
they've only been on four dates in nine years. Like, regardless of when these four dates were spread out in these nine years, you know for a fact he's not taking you out for a couple months. Mm -mm -mm. After the first you, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got yeah. two utes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> They're married. They're ma you got married two utes together. Before you were even married, what was he doing? Like, how? Yeah. what was floating your boat about this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a like, weird one. I need, obviously, we, we're not going to get the context or the background of that, but I just don't understand how you can keep yourself in that situation over such a long period of time, let alone having another ute with the brother, mm, you know? Mm, 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 mm. So that's where my head's at initially. That's where I was like, you fucked up from the jump, yeah. let alone from what's happening now. Secondly, if you dare leave the yard at the middle of the night without the father knowing, I promise you, someone is dying. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he will find you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, he, sounds, he sounds like he doesn't care. Oh, he sounds like a bum. He will find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wants his youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless of you, he's going to want his youth in his life. So I feel like that's not a decision you want to make. Yeah, you probably don't want to. I can feel, I can tell that you feel very boxed in. Yeah, of course. Of and you course, don't know what to of do. Of course. But the, <clears throat> the only thing I can suggest is you need to come with some intervention thing. Yeah. And just, I don't know, get, get your sister round, mm. get your brethren's round. Mm. Get his mum round. Mm. Get some people round and just have an open, plain discussion where he has nowhere to hide. Yeah, yeah. And be like, yeah. I've taken these lengths mm. because I'm on the verge of packing all the kids and, and their shit dipping. and dipping and you'll never see us again. Yeah. So what we need, we need you to leave, bro. Mm. Because this relationship is horrible and I don't want to be here. Mm. And I've kicked you out multiple times and you worm your way back in yeah. and you use the kids to do that. Now I'm saying in this very public format so everyone can hear me, mm. I am done, bro. Mm. You need to leave or I need to leave. I don't give a fuck who leaves, mm. but the kids are coming with me. Yeah. And wherever I'm at, the kids are staying. Yeah. You need to leave, bro. Like today. Mm. And one of these man's going to take you in until you can find your own place. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you need to be gone today. Yeah. Because this, this can't it's pattern can't anymore. Yeah. yeah. that's. I feel like that's a great idea. That is definitely a great a great idea to do. Because it puts him in a position where he's like, fuck. Fuck, yeah. In front of everyone else. Yeah. He would, knowing, I don't know him, but yeah, knowing yeah. him, he will storm the fuck out. Oh, one he's million not, he's percent. Not he will play like he's never been kicked out before. Yeah. Like, big man, if you just want me here, then I'll fucking leave. leave. You leave. think I want to be here? <laughs> you think I want to be where I'm not winning? I'll go. I'll go. I'll fucking go. He's going to get a car and cry. He's going to get in the car and cry. <coughs> Call her back like, baby, please. Please don't do baby, this. Please. I forgive you. Just to let you know, I forgive <laughs> you for what you just did to me. Please let me back. I forgive you. I forgive you. Don't you dare change the locks. <laughs> Don't you dare change the locks. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm going to sit out here in my car till you let me back. Fam, yeah, it needs to be done in a very public setting. Uh, yeah. So he has nowhere to hide. And for, for you to be like, guys, everyone in this room listening, if this nigga lives here again, mm. just know it's against my will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm letting you all know now. Yeah, yeah. If you find him in this yard again, regardless of what he tells you, yeah. it's against my will. Come and get him. Mm. Come and fucking get him. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and find me. Yeah, sort it out. Yeah. Fuck it. That's man. what needs to happen. That's uh that's very sticky, man. Like it's <laughs> it's obviously very, very tough when you have kids involved and stuff. Obviously, I I have no idea, but like I can imagine it's gonna be very, very tough when you have kids involved. Especially when it's the, that current situation where you're not even gelling with the the baby dad or the baby one, whichever scenario you're in, you know, it's that's fucking tough, man. Bro, that's pe tough. People use kids to manipulate that, the team. And that's so unfair on who, whichever party you're on, whichever yes, side you're bro. on, it's so unfair. They manipulate so unfair. the team. Not, it's never going to be fair on the kids. The kids know, don't know any better. They just see it as mum and dad. And it's like, that's that's just life. But yeah, that's that's tough. Um, hopefully, do what James said. Try and do a little intervention with his family, your family. So there's witnesses, you know. He needs to understand... Because clearly, whatever you're saying to him, he's taking you from mug because it's not registering. He's yeah, he don't rate you as a person. He doesn't rate you and it's not registering. So if you say it in a public setting, like James said, he's going to realise, gonna he's going to see the reaction on everyone else's faces. Like, oh, right, I am a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really need to change my ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, then maybe is... he might do something about it. But until then, yeah, don't you 
Don't you dare take the kids <laughs> in the middle of the night. Don't yeah, you dare. That that's, causes that, that's not going to end well. That causes wars. And you'll have no one to fall back on. No one, because, because all that's you, the mistake. Fam? You've made the mistake now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what he's done in the past. Yeah. As soon as you do something like that, that's when that's when the law's involved. Your friends will turn against yeah, you. Yeah, your, the yeah, feds are yeah, on you. Yeah. He's a kidnapping thing. Yeah, his mum's on you. His yeah, family's on yeah. you. Everyone's on you, bro. It's, it's like you'll you'll never have a leg to stand on again yeah, if you done. do something like he's that. He's taking you to court and he's suing for um, full, full custody. Full custody. And then you're used to with a shitty dad yeah. that they never want to be yeah, with. You're fucked. Yeah. Never, don't don't you dare do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare do that bro. for your own benefit and your kids' benefit. Don't you Literally dare do don't that. do it. Um, but hopefully that helps. And finally, we, I've been promised that this is a funny one. <laughs> yeah. I've had a great episode. Yeah, same, and same, I for, same. Fam, after, I forgot we even had our two questions. Fam, same. That's how much I've enjoyed yeah, this episode. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. I was literally <laughs> just about to be like, guys, uh, thanks for the episode. Da, 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 da. Right, I'm ready. So what is the question of the day? <clears throat> the question of the day this week, guys, is what's the worst insult you've ever received? And as the slogan says, guys, the responses were juicy. Bam. I'm going to do what I'd normally do and just reel them off. You're just going to bang them out? Off. All right, say less. I'm just going to reel them off. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <clears throat> I was once called underdeveloped by my bitter ex, assuming because of my B-cup tatas. Underdeveloped? I looked like my mother and father are the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Your tongue... <laughs> <laughs> Your tongue is so big and dry, it feels like a dog is eating me out. Wow. Your ADHD was cute, but can you stop it now? <laughs> I hope both sides of your pillow are warm tonight. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's a fight talk. Yeah. That's a fight talk. That's a fucking fight talk. And you know it. Cunt. You know it. I'm 5'10". I'm a 5'10 female. And my therapist said, yeah, I'd hate to be your height too. Got told I look like a before picture. No. <laughs> nah. Got asked if I had a boyfriend. When I said no, he said, makes sense. Fuck. Your teeth are so big. I bet you cut it when you give head. <laughs> it. it. A guy a guy on Tinder matched with me. He said I look like Sol Campbell and blocked me. <laughs> Sol Campbell. I fake tanned my legs. My mother-in-law said I had a nice color. One, only to tell her son that I actually look dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mum gets shared around the group chat with 27 men in there and your dad's the admin. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of you ran down your mother's legs. No! No! On a glazed Krispy Kreme. Team. Wow! Wow, Indy. That's an insult. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I saw that my jaw dropped. The best part of you ran down your mother's legs. That's impossible. That's impossible. No one can- that's, that's impossible an, to that's hear. That's an insult to my surname. Bro. To the whole family, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, he took us all out with that. <laughs> Jesus wow, that Christ. was a strike. Yeah. That was a strike. You're so flat, your nipple rings are like staples on a piece of paper. No. I'm four foot 11 and he said, you're not thick, you're just compressed. <laughs> You'd be pretty if you did your makeup like me. Uh, what? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> showed my mum a picture of, showed my mum before and after picture after four months in the gym. And she said, you're just standing further away from the mirror. <laughs> no. <laughs> you look like a dirty piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a homeless man said, I'd be lucky to marry him because I can't do any better. <laughs> Yo! Someone said you could land a helicopter on my forehead. No, fam! <laughs> a kid poked me in the belly and said, Wibble, wobble. <laughs> wibble, no, wobble! No, 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 no. I'd want to lump that no, kid. No, no, no. I'm rocking that kid. <laughs> that my, <laughs> that my mum died because she couldn't stand being around me anymore. No. <laughs> Oh, no. no, bro. You've had so many kids. I can see straight to your heart through your vagina. Huh? My eyebrows have no curve. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather slice off my eyeballs and stare at the sun than hang out with you. Jesus Christ. 
I realized my husband had never called me beautiful when I saw it written on the back of one of his ex's photos. Oh, allow it. Low it. That household would have been different. Low it. Or in that yard would have been different that day. Fuck. <laughs> my girl said, fam. Yeah, my girl said she likes watching my belly move back and forth during missionary. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, bro. I uh, I would so strangle tight. her. That got me so I'll, tight. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, it's impossibly embarrassing. This is the biggest oxymoron. Go on. Rejected a man in the office and he called me a frigid whore. <laughs> <laughs> I told a girl her tits look, look like two paracetamols on an ironing board. Wait, uh, did they say, I ju- <laughs> did he say, he's a, he said that. He said that to a chick. And he's proud of such. Two paracetamols <laughs> on, on an, an ironing, ironing board. board. A scale. Fuck. A scale for you. Fuck. A stranger saw a donut on my desk and said, are you sure you should be eating this? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. She was never yours. It was just your turn. Wow. I told my deadbeat baby daddy he has the hairline of his dad. His dad has alopecia. (laughs) Fuck that. I love you, but I don't want any more kids with a white woman. Oh, oh my (laughs) God. (laughs) Jesus. Fam, if you weren't so tall, you'd be alone. Fuck off. (laughs) My students said my outfit was... (laughs) My students said my outfit was a bold choice. (laughs) They're 14 and I've never worn that outfit again. (laughs) And that's a bold choice. A bold choice. Nah, I'm... kids. Kids can be so cruel. If you had are so. What's the word I'm looking for? Are so. Ah, uh... the the word that was in my head is just gone. Like unfiltered. Not even unfiltered. They're so. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's just go with unfiltered. <laughs> they are fucking unfiltered. Fam, they're unfiltered. They're original and yeah. they're scathing. They they. They tell the truth and they don't care about the repercussions. Fam, they don't care about the repercussions and they prey on your largest insecurity. Largest. They don't know how they know, but they know. Family, I read the I read the pointing at the stomach and said wibble wobble. Oh and my god. Believe what I, I read. I can't, fam. Kids are vile. The things wibble wobble. I don't think you understand what that would do to me. Wibble wobble. I don't think you understand. Because because they're a kid, it's not lies. It's, it's not. They tell the truth. They only know the truth. Wibble wobble. A, and, they, on an alliteration <laughs> thing. And they wibble, just walked off and got on with their day. Wibble wobble. And you walk- fat bitch. <laughs> Basically. You fucking fat bitch. <laughs> Basically. And then just held his <laughs> mum's hand and walked off. Last but not least... <laughs> For someone with no tonsils, you can't deep throat for shit. Oh, fuck off. That's brutal. <sighs> Fam? Worst insults you've ever Worst received. insults. That's savage. That missionary thing, I like watching your belly go back, back and, and forth. forth. It... Why are you... So... Fam, I'll, pr- I'll beg. Why are you saying this to me? Why are you saying this to me? This is neither not the <laughs> moment. This is neither the moment or the moment you think it was ever yeah, going to be. Yeah, fam. What did you want my response to be? Thank you, baby. Let's keep going. Yeah. No. I love being a fucking slob. I'm so happy you love me being a fat shit. Bro. I love watching your fat stomach go up and down when you fuck me. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. I would never speak to her again. And I'm training from tomorrow. James? The amount of cardio I'll do. (laughs) I don't think my legs will cope. Fam? And I will pray for her to tell me, oh, I liked you but better before. Fuck, fuck off. You, fuck you and your mum. <laughs> <laughs> fuck oh, you. You're the reason I'm like this. Facts, bro. Oh, mate. Oh, goodness me. But guys, <sighs> girls. Cool, man. That was a fantastic episode. Hope you that laughed, was a as, lot of fun. <laughs> laughed as much as we did. That was because, a lot of fun. Yeah, we had rants and we had jokes. There was a lot of rants in there. Yeah. Um, But guys, as always, love you like a fat kid loves cake and shit. You know my style. I think anything that make you smile and shit. Um, okay. Have a good week. Yeah, man. See you on Thursday. Let's see. <laughs>